All right, it's day 46 of this series. I've pulled this table forward by about five to six inches so I can stagger five pots on it instead of only having three side by side. That means my Joshua tree and century plant pot should do much better. So the note distance has increased here. The stem is elongating. You can see the leaves, they don't come out in pairs. They come out alternating one by one and the directionality isn't symmetrical at this point. A third leaf will grow sort of perpendicular to the other two, which is good. We'll have a maximizing of the potential sunlight that can be captured by the leaves for photosynthesis. There's a fourth true leaf and a fifth true leaf coming as well. That means these green endosperm halves will diminish in importance because they once contributed to a lot of the total percentage of area that can be used for photosynthesis and now that's not the case anymore. But nevertheless, I don't like seeing debris just sitting on there and preventing photosynthesis and it's unesthetic. I'm also rocking the plant a little bit, which worries me because I don't want to dislodge the root system. So I think I'm gonna stop that. But in the meantime, for all this um, nutrition regimen and whatnot, I'll just keep doing the same thing. I'll water every two days with what I have in the squirt bottle which is distilled water with a little bit of miracle Grow, just a fraction of a spoon and part of a dissolved crushed multivitamin in there. It had a lot of insoluble components in it, so I poured out the supernatant after everything settled and washed out the bottle and poured the supernatant back in. And all of this is followed by a showering of distilled water that's a little bit more heavy than what I used to do but since the pot has dried out to a great extent over the last few weeks, I haven't been watering anywhere else in the pot. I figure the rest of the pot will act like a dry sponge and overwatering won't be a problem because the water will absorb outwards by the dry potting mix. So as you can see here, it's an exercise in futility to try to brush away all those potting mix particles. I think I'm ready to basically just pile on some potting mix to cover up those endosperm halves since they're no longer important. That's all stuff that should normally be underground anyway. So depending on what I want to do for aesthetics, I think that's a move I'll be making pretty soon. Thanks for watching.